G'day, it's the lawn expert here. Uh, today's um, uh, lawn we're looking at is um, is an example of how not to top dress a lawn, and I'll explain a bit later um, uh, how how we need to go about top dressing your lawn correctly and what we what we recommend and and when what time what times of the year to be top dressing. Uh, at the moment it is um, getting uh, it's right in the middle of autumn and uh, uh, this customer of ours has decided to um, to top dress top excuse me to top dress their lawn uh, just prior to winter which is a, a big no-no um, and I'll, I'll talk more about this um, in a second okay we're uh we're in Cherry Brook at a customer's lawn here um, <clears throat> and they've decided for some reason to top dress this lawn just prior to winter which is a big no-no um, especially when they've engaged us to do their uh, weed and feed lawn care and uh, so what the, the, the biggest problem initially with top dressing their lawn prior to winter is it's just going to be a big attraction to weed seeds and um, uh, so we're going to have a really big problem with weeds popping up in the next couple of months and so it'll just make our, our job a little bit more challenging. Um, the, uh, the the first, first thing I would recommend is um, if people are going to top dress not to use top dressing soil. This goes hard in the summer sun. Uh, the best thing to use is, is river sand. River sand uh, is soft, the, the grass runners can grow through it really easily. So river sand always, um, uh, best to, um, to top dress your lawn uh, anywhere, especially in the southern hemisphere, anywhere between October and March. So sort of really between November and February um, are the ideal times to be top dressing your lawn. And also, um, uh, uh, you know, most probably best to get someone uh, in professionally to um, to do the job for you because uh, at this rate it's not looking flash. Okay, see you next time. 